Really happy to get a win against a good team. Um, and there were some things we can improve on. So uh, I always think it's, you know, I think we can learn from a win. Uh, I don't think you have to lose to learn. And, uh, and I think there's a lot we can learn from that. Guys got such a good lead out. Were you a bit disappointed in the last quarter, or was it sort of one of those games that got a bit, you know, a bit wild? In the next it's, it's frustrating to see the, the lead dwindle because the guys played so well. Um, so, yeah, I was frustrated at the time, but it's a win. And I'm really happy that we got the win. And um, the guys are going in the right directions and trying to do the right direction and trying to do things on the day to day how we want to do it. Um, and we're not there yet. So uh, I'm not disappointed. I'm stoked. Like, I think that's four wins in a row uh, for a team that started one and three. So, um, you know, that coincided with Gorjok and Allen and Gary and uh, Ben and Will getting healthy. And uh, but it's but it's still four wins in a row. So yeah, I'm excited. It's sometimes easy for us to say, "Oh, you got the two big guys back." That's been the difference. But what changes have you seen along with their addition that's helped this team get these wins? Definitely, the players being here is the the main reason we are a, a better team. Uh, but Within that, within the group, the day to day of um, kind of finding some core values and then trying to live by them day by day and, and failing one day at practice and then coming back and trying to do it better and talking about it. And, um, and then, same thing in the game, you know, like we had four different, uh, you know, four different quarters, I guess you could say, today. And, uh, and so we just need to learn from that and, and kind of say, does that line up with what we said we're going to do? And, and then there's basketball stuff, too, that's important. So, yeah, it's all, it's all in a big mix. And it's not a, a two-week fix or this guy gets back, it's a fix. It's, um, it's us building day by day. And I think we're trying to do that the, the right way. Um, Will, what, you have, what got you going today? Because you, you took a pretty painful blow last week mm -hmm. to your quad or whatever. How'd you get yourself going so early and keep yourself, you know, going in this game? Uh, I mean, with that, you just stay aggressive. Um, I don't think you were ever going into games at this point healthy, you know, to like a full healthy, like nobody ever plays 100%. So um, you just go out there and strap up and go play, you know. So um, I just approach each game the same and, and just uh, just go out there and help contribute. And he, and he went on holiday all week. So he just uh, he so I'm kind of fresh, you know. I've been chilling. So, yeah, fresh legs. <laughs> Uh, one, no, yeah, yeah. he trained one day and he, uh, but he was he was engaged and vocal the whole time and uh, and also super positive about thinking he could play. But uh, as uh, Luke Brennan said, he played the vet card very well this week. Hey, you, you'll make it nine years without pulling some some vet cards. So. <laughs> Used it too early though. <laughs> like, how tough was it to contend with? I guess the different funky lineups that New Zealand was throwing out there tonight. I mean, they subbed two players out after. Seconds. They went small quite a lot. They mixed things up defensively and in and out of that zone at times. And you guys had to really adjust your offensive style throughout the game. Well, if you ask me after three quarters, I'd say, gosh, that was really easy. We just adjusted to everything well. Um, but now after four, it, it was tough. I'm, uh, they did a really good job of changing things up and um, when they needed to, and it and it got us on the, our back foot. Um, so. Uh, I, we we haven't figured it out, you know. I'm glad there's not five quarters, but um, but we did make plays down the stretch that were big, uh, and I and I think they got to feeling good, and hit some threes, and you know the ball trickles out, Glidden hits a three, and and they were feeling it, you know. So um, yeah, it was it was tough, but uh, we need to learn from that. And well, from your perspective, facing those different lineups and different defenses. Yeah. How does that help this team to grow uh, as you progress through the season, those sorts of challenges? Uh, it helps a lot. I mean, because at some point in the season, you're going to face a zone like that for a whole quarter. Um, I mean, generally, when teams are I mean, playing bad, you got to figure out something to kind of get yourself back going. So they went zone. Um, and I mean, it's just something that you got to learn from. You can't really learn from it and play well in the future without going through something like that and knowing what to do going forward. So um, I think that this is a help. It helped us. It's a learning experience. Um, I think guys going forward now will kind of understand the importance of, of kind of taking things 
each possession seriously and, and just knowing how to break down his own. So. Mike, just lastly for me, um, you're back in the southeast. You know this this uh, fan base pretty well. But you guys have built a fortress here at home, you're undefeated this season. I think it's like now 14 of 16 wins dating back to last season. How important is that, especially with the way the Melbourne schedules always are kind of front loaded with the Australian Open coming up to really maximise that home stand? Yeah, I think defending your home court is is huge and uh, so important. Um, it's hard to say you treat it like a different game, but uh, but I think the guys feel good about playing here and the, the fans are amazing here. Um, come out and there's a, a band playing. It's just awesome. So great atmosphere and uh, we don't really talk about it being, you know, let's defend home court, but, but it feels good for the guys and I think they're getting a little rhythm here. Uh, Mike, uh, Mitch Freak uh, really set the tone defensively in that first period, that he uh, you know, come out with the good offense uh, as the game wore on. How, how impactful was he as a, as a leader of the team? Yeah, he's um, he is the leader of the team, and uh, and it's been I think he's been stellar like through everything, um, through other guys' injuries, through his own, um, and also there's times when because there are other guys, you know, five guys scoring in double figures, we got some guys that can or six guys sometimes, um, he hasn't got as many touches as maybe he's had in the past. And so, see, he had 20 tonight, but I think he had 10 the other day, and he played really well, and, uh, and we won the game. So uh, I think his leadership has been amazing, and his buy-in has been really good. And uh, I think if we can get that buy-in from him and the other leaders on the team, that will we'll keep getting better. I was trying to get stops, and they attacked us in pick and roll really well and got downhill, and uh, and so I put a smaller lineup out there for a little while, and then and and in saying that, they played some small ball lineups where Al played really well, um, and and they were zoning on the other end, so uh, so that was just a change up for me to try to um, to get some stops. Uh, if I thought if we could stop the flow of offense for them, that we could give ourselves a, l a little more breathing room, and uh, that didn't work. And then he came back in and was ready to go and hit a big shot and uh, kept himself going on the defensive end as well. Ben Ayers being a real energizer coming off the bench. How important has he been, not just coming off the bench, but as the team for, for the coaching staff but, and also for Will? How much has he pushed you throughout the season? Oh, he's great because, I mean, with me, I've, I mean, every day he's going to bring the energy. So um, he keeps me engaged sometimes when you kind of just like, ah, you're tired or whatnot. He, he brings the energy no matter what. Uh, rain, shine, rain, sunny, you know, he's, he's there. So um, he's, it's great to have a guy like that on the team uh, and brings that presence because uh, it keeps the group keep the group going, you know. So um, he, he's doing everything that we ask him to do. Uh, he's, he's brilliant. So he comes, down, comes in. He was super efficient tonight. I mean, you know, you, nobody's really going to talk about it, but he was super efficient. So um, just having a guy like that that can come in without being in a flow or in a rhythm by playing a lot of minutes, he can come in and, and contribute like that is, is priceless. So um, hats off to him. He, he's playing really well. Fair enough. Well done, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.